Hi and welcome to this video overview. I'm excited to introduce Caspio 8.3 and all the latest features and enhancements that come with this release. Let's highlight and demo a few of the features from the latest release. In 8.3 we have introduced a drag and drop logic builder in the data page and views wizards to help you create more advanced criteria for filtering data. Next is the all new import update. Previously when importing data you could create a new table replace an existing table or append to an existing table. This latest feature gives you the ability to easily update the fields of an existing table based on any new or changed data. We've also introduced four additional cloud-based repositories that allow you to import and export data in and out of Caspio Bridge based on your preferred frequency. The new repositories are Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive from Microsoft, and Box. Lastly, if you are planning on providing your app users with the ability to change their passwords, now you can require them to first enter their current password before their new password is accepted. Let's take a closer look at each one of these four new features. Prior to this release, you had the choice between AND or OR for the logical operator between your search fields and report data pages. With this new enhancement, you can now build more complex search criteria by combining the AND and OR logical operators using the new Logic tab. A similar criteria tab is also available in the Views wizard where you can build complex filtering criteria for your views. Here you can also use the same drag and drop functionality to combine your AND and OR logical operators. Let's take a look at a quick demo. Here I have a sample report that shows me all the customer information and the way I'm filtering this report is I'm interested in seeing all the forecasts above 4000 in revenue. I also want to be able to see whether the account type is a lead, prospect, or a customer. And I want to be able to see whether it's from a California, New York, or Nevada region. Let's go inside our Caspio account and let's take a look how by using the new drag and drop interface we can build this type of report. I'm going to edit my report. I'm using the predefined criteria. You can also use the same AND and OR functionality using the search form. I'm including three of my fields that I wish to filter my data on. I've added criteria for each one of my fields except for the forecast field. And now using the new logic tab, we can drag and drop these elements from the left hand side onto our canvas and we can snap elements in between other elements to be able to create AND and OR logic much more efficiently. I can snap this one in between these two brackets. I can delete it by hovering over the trash can. I can introduce new fields. I can also remove fields. I can reposition other fields in between other elements and you can see that my state field has three criteria and I have it set to equal Nevada, California, or New York. And I have the OR logical operator because what I'm trying to accomplish here is have the state field in between any of these three types of regions and three types of accounts which are lead, prospect, or customer and I want to be able to see all the customers with the 5,000 revenue and forecast or above. If you've set it up correctly, and if you click Finish, you will be able to see this type of a report. But to make a quick change, let's change the forecast to maybe above 16,000. So I only want to see the customers that have a forecast over 16,000 in revenue. Click Finish. And now when you refresh the report, you're going to see fewer records because now we're filtering this report based on, based on forecast that's higher than 16,000. The same drag and drop functionality can also be found in views and if you edit the view you're going to be able to see that we have removed a lot of the functionality here from this window but I've introduced this criteria tab and once you click on that you can also drag and drop elements to the right to combine AND and OR logic and filter data specifically how you want to view the data. Let's go ahead and move on to the next feature. Next feature is part of 8.3 release is the all new import update which allows us to import our updated files and upon import we can use the update action to update our existing table inside Caspio. Let's take a look at a quick demo. 
Here's my table of customers inside my Caspio account. I can see all the forecasts and all the relevant data pertaining to each customer. Let's say you're downloading data maybe from a legacy account or you're getting your data from somewhere else and it's updated data, but you also want to update those new records inside your existing Caspio table. Here's my Excel file. And what I want to do is basically make a few changes here manually because I'm not bringing any data from anywhere else. So for now, we're going to do it manually. Let's change this forecast to maybe 20,000. Let's change this name, Sean Wilson, to maybe Mark Jones. And you can change any record that you want within your table or within your Excel file. Let's change Kent to Tom Bryant. We can also add new records if you'd like. And you don't have to have all the records that you're not changing. If you only need to change these two records or you're getting new updated data, the table, the data that you're not updating inside Caspio will remain unchanged. And only those records, those specific records that have been updated will change inside your existing table. Let's save our changes. And let's go ahead and import this file now into our Caspio account. We're going to go to Tools, Import. Let's find that file on our desktop. Click Next. Let's make sure that we upload this file into the correct application. And you can see that now inside the Action column, we can now have the ability to use the Update feature. Click on Update. Apply that to your existing table inside Caspio. Click Next. And let's make sure that we match our field source name from our Excel file to our existing table field. And this, this is going to allow us to look for the records that need to be updated inside our existing table inside Caspio. We can choose which columns we wish to update by using these checkboxes. And you can also ignore blank fields. So if you have blank records, it's not going to change anything inside your Caspio's existing table. Let's click on Import. Let's go to our table. And now you can see that the name's been changed to Mark Jones. We have 20,000. All the other records in the existing table remained unchanged. And if I scroll down, we can see Tom Bryant down below. Let's move on to the next feature. In this release, we have added Data Hub integration with four popular cloud-based repositories. Let's take a look at a quick demo to see how easy it is to import data from Dropbox account. Here's my Dropbox account. And inside my account, I have a folder called Caspio. Inside that folder, I have my file called customers.xls, which is an Excel workbook file. And what I'm trying to accomplish here is import this file into my Caspio account automatically and be able to update my existing table. When inside Caspio, you're going to click on Tools and Schedule Tasks. Let's create a new task. And what we want to do is bring that file from our Dropbox account into our Caspio platform. So I want to import that file. But keep in mind, you can also export data from Caspio to your offline repositories. Let's connect to a site. Since I don't have a site created yet, let's create a new site. And you can see that along with some of the existing connections that we have, we have now added Dropbox and three additional repositories. Let's connect to our Dropbox account. Let's authorize and give Caspio the ability to go inside our Dropbox account. Click on Allow. You're going to see this little green icon for verification. Let's give it a name and let's call it Dropbox. The folder inside my Dropbox account is called Caspio, and the file name itself for that file, it's customers.xls. We need to test the connection. Looks like we're good to go. Let's click on Next. And from here, here's my table. I'm going to use the new Update feature. And I want to update my customers table. Click on Next. Let's go ahead and match our source field name from our Excel file to our existing table. I'm going to click Next here. And now you can adjust the frequency. How often do you want Caspio to go to your Dropbox account and bring this data into your Caspio platform? You can change that to On Demand, just once, hourly, daily, weekly, or monthly. If I set it up to monthly, I can have my start date. I can have an end date. What time do I want this import to happen? 
and recurrence. How often do I want Caspio to do this? You can click finish here. Let's give it a task name. And here's my task that's going to happen monthly at a specific time for Caspio to know to go to my Dropbox account and import that data into Caspio. Or you can run it on demand at any time. Even though it's set up automatically, if I need this data right away, I can click on run now. And it's just going to take a few seconds for that to finish. And once finished, you're going to see another green icon here for verification. And then you can go directly to your table inside your application to be able to see all the new updates to your customer table. Let's move on to the next feature. And last but certainly not least, we have added an additional layer of security that can now be applied on the password fields. Users will be forced to type in their current password prior to creating a new one, so let's take a look at a quick demo of this new feature. Here's my sample login screen. I'm going to go ahead and log in as one of the customers. And upon logging in, here is the customer. I can now change my password, but prior to changing my password, I'm forced to actually input my current password. And let's say, for example, I make a mistake and I try to create my new password. It's going to be rejected because my current password is invalid. So if I do put in my right password and I try to change it again, and once I click on update, your data was updated successfully. Now this is best practice and highly recommended that you apply to your applications if you have user-based logins. And let's go inside our Caspio account and take a look to see how this functionality can be enabled. Inside our Caspio account, I'm going to edit my update password report. And once you get to the correct screen and locate your password field, you're going to be able to see these newly added password options. And we have this checkbox here at the bottom that if you enable this, it's going to require current password validation. And if you enable this checkbox along with some of these other security measures, you're going to have an enforced password validation field. There are plenty of other enhancements and minor features that are part of this 8.3 release. For a full list, check out the release notes, but to name a few, now when copying an application, all the associated files will also be copied. Also when copying an application, all the table relationships will be copied. The rules tab in the search forms allows each individual criteria to be used separately in conditions and actions. There's also a new ability to format table-driven cascading radio buttons. We've improved the FTP handling and data hub for faster response times. And now all the text inside Caspio Bridge can be easily copied and you can paste that text anywhere inside or outside Caspio Bridge. Thank you for watching our release video. Be sure to visit our online help for additional release notes and articles at howto.caspio.com. Thanks for watching.